Hello, I'm Arjuna Bhuskar, assistant professor at AISSS IOIT Panjshir. So, in this video, we are going to look at the comparison with the waterfall model and the agile model. Uh, it is the topic from software engineering sector, uh, secondary company. Okay, so we look at that. So, agile versus waterfall. So, first of all, we need to understand what is agile and waterfall in short, because we already know that. So, we think this just small comparison. In agile courses, basically the requirements can change between as between as we want to change the requirements in agile courses. Whereas in the waterfall model, it is defined only once by the business plan. Once the requirements are finalized, then only we can go ahead for the next phase. So in agile description of project details can be altered any time during the SGLC process, which is not possible in the waterfall model. So this is the basic and very important difference between the agile and waterfall. As the requirements can be changed in agile at any time, whereas the requirements cannot be changed in the waterfall model at any time. Only once when you are defining the requirement, that time you can change the requirements till that phase. Okay, so we are what is the waterfall methodology? Waterfall model methodology is which is also known as basically the linear sequential life cycle model. A linear SDLC model is also called like that. So waterfall model followed in the sequential order and so project development team only moves to the next phase of the development or testing if the previous has completed previous phase or step up. Completed successfully. Means if I am about uh, on the coding phase, so what I require, I require the design has to be completed. If the design phase has to be completed, com is completed uh, successfully, then only I can go with the coding phase or implementation. Likewise, happens in the waterfall. Whereas in high agile methodology, agile is a uh, practice that helps continuous iteration of the development and testing in the software development process. And in this model, development and testing activities are like concurrent. Unlike the waterfall model, so this process allows the more communication between the customers, developers, managers, and testers in the agile. So the advantages now we'll see for the waterfall and then we'll see for the agile. So what are the advantages? It is one of the easiest model to manage because of its nature. It, each phase has specific deliverables and a review process here. It works well for a smaller size project where requirements are easily understandable and clear. At the initial during the initial phases, uh, the faster delivery of the project process and the results are well documented because we are going sequentially here. Easily adaptable method for shifting teams. This project management methodology is beneficial to manage the dependency between the different phases of the life cycle. The advantages of agile: it is focused client process, so it makes sure that the client is continuously involved during the every stage. Agile teams are extremely motivated and self-organized, so it's likely to provide a better result from the development project. Agile software development method assures the quality of the development is maintained because here the motivated, extremely motivated and dedicated code or agile team is working towards your product. The process is completely based on the incremental progress here. Therefore, the client and team know exactly what is complete and what is not. This reduces the risk in the development process. Software architecture, user interface, and system components. So these are the advantages of the agile. Now we see the limitations of both the models. So here in waterfall model, the physical limitation it is not ideal model for large size project or a completely new project. So if you want to do some uh, modifications to the existing system, then we can go for this waterfall. Model. So if the requirement is not clear at the beginning, it is less effective method to use the waterfall model. It is why in the waterfall model, it is very difficult to move back to make changes in the previous phase. It means if, suppose I am in the testing phase, I cannot go back to the coding phase again to do the thing. So this, is, this kind of shift, backward shifting is not possible there in the uh, waterfall model. The testing process starts once development is over, hence it has high chances of bugs to be found, to be found later in development where they are extensively fixed that time. So these are some of the limitations of waterfall. Now the limitations of agile model. It is not useful method for the small development project. It requires an expert to take important decisions in the meeting. So the product owner and the scrum master has to be there into the meeting. The cost of implementing an agile method is little more compared to the other development methodologies. The 
because the dedicated and himself extremely motivated team is working on that. The project can easily go off track if the project manager is not clear about what outcome what he or she wants. So the outcome has to be clear, then only we can meet that particular outcome. You see, the agile model follows the incremental approach where each incremental part is developed through the iteration after every time box. Whereas in the waterfall model, it follows the sequential design process, it follows the linear approach. In the next one, in the agile model, the measurement of the progress is in terms of the developed and delivered functionality. Whereas in the waterfall model, generally the measurement of success is in terms of completed and reviewed artifacts. Next point, the Agile model is flexible as there is the possibility of changing the requirements even after starting the development process. We can change the requirement in Agile model, whereas uh, in the waterfall model, it is rigid as it does not allow to modify the requirements once the development process starts. In Agile model, there is a high customer interaction. It is because after the iteration and incremental version is deployed to the customer, whereas in this uh, Waterfall model, customer interaction in waterfall model is very less because uh, the product is delivered to the customer after overall development. Next point, it has a small team size. Smaller is the team, so fewer people work on it so that they can move faster. Whereas the waterfall model, the team may consist of more members because the, every phase requires a different team members. Design team is different, coding team is different, testing team is different, typewise. The next point is the Agile model is not a suitable model for small projects. Expenses of developing small projects is agile, it's smooth and compared to the other models. Whereas the waterfall model works well in smaller size projects, the requirements are easily understandable, but waterfall model is not suitable for developing the large. So that is about the comparison of the Agile model and waterfall model. Uh, that's it. Uh,